Yeah, so the disrespect is real for Serena Williams' husband, Alexis uh, O'Heineken, whatever, O'Heineken, whatever his name is. She decided during the Super Bowl weekend to go to a party hosted by Drake, which is the dude she used to kick it with. And she went to the party without her husband, but she was seen here uh, walking in with Osdell Beckham Jr. I think they met up at the party. And um, this comes after, if you don't know, Drake calling her husband a groupie. It's a whole lot in there to, to, to talk about, right? So, sidebar, Serena, your husband a groupie. He claimed we don't have no problem, but no boo is like you coming for sushi. Direct shots at her husband, and her husband responds, the reason I stay winning is because, let me read that one more, my way. The reason I stay winning is because I'm relentless. <laughs> no, let me quit playing. About being the absolute best at whatever I do, including being the best groupie for my wife and daughter. Carney, Carney, Carney. On all counts, okay? You should have asked you, you should have asked one of your real friends before you hit that button on there. Should I should I say this? I think your wife might have told you, dog. No, hold on, let me just tweak something because you ain't have to say that like that. You just I get what you're trying to say. You know, I get the sentiment behind it. You, 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 your wife and your daughter should be like the most important thing in your life. God, uh, family, football, like my man say. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> but the way you went about this, totally wrong, man. Totally wrong. And, sh and the proof is in the pudding right now, how she treating you. Like, if y'all ain't about to break up, uh, then I, like, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, it, it seems like they, that they about to break up or something. You know what I'm saying? But if they not, I don't even know how you deal with that. Like, the disrespect in that. So you're going to go to your ex party and get, she, and, and, and she left him at the crib. Like, he wasn't around. To go to this, right? So, how does that work? Like, how would a, how would you even get that in your mind that y'all about to do? That's what you about to do. You know what I'm saying? And think that's okay. You know how? Because he's a he's a son to her. He ain't no real husband. Like, when it, whenever you get in this dynamic where a woman makes that much more money than you, and she make a whole a whole lot more money than a whole lot of people on the planet. You know, and that's kudos to her, like she's doing her thing. But I'm just saying, as a man, when you don't have your chips elevated to match her or to be above her, you're going to get treated like this. You're going to treat her like a son. You know what I'm saying? Because see, the dudes that do find themselves in that situation, well, if you got some realness about you, like you either going to get out the situation or you're going to uh, develop and step up as a man and get your chips together. You know what I'm saying? And step your game up and, and do what you're supposed to do. Take care of your family. You know what I'm saying? It's either one or two things. But being in that position where if she's got that much over you, she going to let you know it every time she gets a chance to. And this is a perfect example of her letting her husband know what his pecking order in place is in that relationship. And he ain't the head of the house. I'll tell you that for sure. I'll tell you that for sure. Anytime a dude find himself in this type of dynamic like you have to if you ain't got your stuff together this that another but you trying to stay with this one you're gonna have to cut that the first time it happened like well, hey, well, well, you, you, you said you about to do what you know what i'm saying like anything that's where she try to sun you because she gonna try to sun you in this type of dynamic whenever that dynamic is switched like that she gonna try to sun you and you gotta cut into it real quick or either just get away from her and go ahead and get your life together you know what i'm saying because if you try to stay there and keep getting sunned, I mean, you know, if that's what you want to do, then, then do that. But it, it appears they they about to break up. They got to be about to break up because I don't, I don't know. If, they, if they're not, if they stay together after this, it's just disrespect on top of disrespect on top of, you know. But to be honest, when I saw this relationship form, it was much like a lot of us that saw <laughs> Much like what I bet Drake said, like, that's that's the guy you're picking? All right. <laughs> Do you. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you got the black women that cheer on the the fact that he she wouldn't have got a white dude. And it's like, okay, well, I don't know what y'all clapping so much about. Like, she wouldn't have got a white dude that makes a lot less than her. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you feel like you came up, but, you know. Either way, they cheer it on. And listen, I ain't got no problem with 
relationships like that, 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 you know, mixed race relationships, like do what you do, man, love who you love. I done dated a white woman here and there, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, Dr. Umar has opened my eyes. Y'all know what side of the game he on, you know what I'm saying? But as in my later years, I've, uh, I've always knew the importance of black women. That's how, that was all I kicked it with, you know what I'm saying? But you get out, you start to test the waters a little bit, but then Dr. Umar did help me realize the importance of all these black issues we got and that we say we all about. And then it looks kind of weird for you then to go and be like, you know what, the most important partnership in my life I'm going to go outside of my race for. You know, so I started to see things like that. But outside of that, it's just getting back to the just the disrespect of, of this situation. Because this could have been two two black people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Serena could have been kicking it with a black dude. This still would be equally as disrespectful. Like, that's why I say it, they probably may be on the verge of splitting up or something. Because for you to go to your ex party, and some people might think this is not a big deal. They're like, oh, it's Drake. He always performing and this, that, and other. Yeah, man, but... That's that's when it's when it's cordial and it's cool and this that another you know what I'm saying, it's like if she'd have moved on and she got a new dude and all of that, but it ain't no problems between the old dudes and the new dudes. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no problems between the exes and the because she moved on, she happy now. The exes is doing their thing, they happy now. That's when stuff is cordial that y'all could intermingle and still bump into each other or still, you know what I'm saying? It not be a problem. Like, oh, my ex having this, that, or the other, or we going to go support, you know what I'm saying? But but the, the the optics is whatever you're doing to support or whatever, you probably would do it together. And that's if in y'all a good, if y'all was in a good space, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't just be creeping off nowhere by yourself to go kick it at a party with your ex. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy disrespectful. But then what devils down and makes it a thousand times more disrespectful is that he called your now husband a groupie. And it's like, so he just took direct shots at this dude who is your husband, who's supposed to be the head of your house and your life. And you didn't respond publicly, right? But the husband respond cornerly, but publicly. But then your response through your actions says way more than you. Than, I mean, you didn't have to say nothing. Your actions spoke very loudly. And, and it, it, it's just, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. If, if this is the type of dynamic that some of y'all want to be in, cool. But... I'm just going to say, as a man, that looks bad, man. It looks bad. Like, have some scruples about yourself, man. And for ladies, too, like, when you when this is kind of flipped and you take blatant disrespect from a dude because he's making money or whatever, whatever, and you know this ain't your standard in life, you know you wouldn't take this disrespect, no other type, but he got some money. Get out of that situation. Get away from that dude. Go get yourself together. Get your money right. And get to a place to where you meet somebody else that does respect you and treat you right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the... I mean, I know the money is good to 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 to, to this dude. But it's like, bro, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just something with me. It appears to be something with a lot of men that we, we'll, we I'll pass on the money. I, I, I've met chicks with money and they can do this and they can do that. I'll pass if I got to trade in my respect for you to give me some trinkets. You know what I'm saying? I'll pass on that because I, I just, I can't, you're not going to make me not be able to stand on the things that I've built in me that are just basic parts of me that I, that I'm like, they, as a man, this is what I stand for. And I stand on this and this is what I'm going to have around me and how I'm going to 
surround myself with a certain type of people or this that you know what i'm saying whenever you like somebody try to dangle some trinkets in you and make you lose your morals or your standards about yourself i don't know it ain't a good look to me but this is boy pecan you tell me what you think what you don't think but uh yeah get at your boy